Hey everybody, Jace Allen here from Rum Runner Guitars, and today we're doing an unboxing video. Stick around. So, you've probably seen those unboxing videos on YouTube and wherever else. I ordered a guitar and it happened to show up today and so I thought what the heck I'll do one of these unboxing videos so uh, here we go so today I have a Firefly it's a FF 338 which is basically a clone of a Gibson ES 338 uh, not a one-to-one -one clone mind you uh, this guitar uh, is under $200 where a real Gibson ES338 is probably 10 times that, uh, maybe more, who knows. And so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to unbox this thing, check it all out and see if, it, uh, if it's okay, first of all, and then we're going to play it and see, uh, see just what kind of guitar it is. Everybody's talking about these Firefly guitars and uh, you can find them on a website back there called Guitars Garden. And uh, I'm not exactly sure if it's just a website for, for an import company or if, if somebody's just importing a bunch of these or, or what. They're definitely a Chinese-made guitar. And uh, you can actually find them on like AliExpress and Alibaba and Made in China, uh, the sort of uh, websites where you can buy different things. And uh, they're almost exact, uh, minus the headstock logos. So I'm assuming somebody just kind of, you know, worked with the Chinese uh, manufacturers to create this guitar. And uh, they've got a whole line of guitars now. I, when I first uh, was made aware of these guitars, they all I knew of was the Semi Hollow uh, 338. Well, now they got Telecaster, Stratocaster styles, uh, Les Paul styles, Flying V. Uh, all kinds of stuff. So you might want to check it out. It's called guitarsgarden.com and uh, they're pretty neat guitars. There's quite a variety. Everybody seems to swear by them, seems to think that they're really good. And so uh, uh, one of the Facebook groups that I belong to was talking about how this particular one was back up for sale, but it was available on Amazon. Uh, they don't have this particular model for sale on the Guitars Garden website. They only got two uh, models, a, a green with a stripe and a red with a stripe. And so what I'm guessing is that they've sent their inventory, some of their inventory to the Amazon distributor so they can sell on Amazon. So that's why they're not available on their website. I don't know if that's true sounds good to me but so what we're gonna do is open this thing up so without further ado here we go okay I better put my mic back on okay so here we go it's uh, boxed in one of these tapered sort of Let's get a different angle here. One of these tapered guitar boxes that uh, guitars sometimes come in. So if you happen to order one of these things, make sure that you are there or somebody is there to sign for it because if they leave this thing out on your doorstep, it's a very conspicuous looking box that screams, I'm a guitar inside. So. Ah, a box within a box, which is good because this one was kind of beat up a little bit. So it's a wedged box within a wedged box. Okay, this one's not taped. Okay, there we go. Inside your K 
cable, which they'd be better off not sending one because I wouldn't use this cable. Maybe as a patch cable. Not incredibly long, not incredibly thick either, but it's a cable. And uh, your Allen, Allen wrench for adjusting your truss rod if it needs it. Uh, styrofoam inside, wrapped up in a cover. We'll see if it survived the trip. I ordered this. I think two or three days ago, and uh, let's see, today is a Monday. I ordered it over the weekend, and it was Amazon, Amazon Prime, free shipping. It arrived today, so that's two days. This particular guitar was listed on Amazon when I bought it for $190 and some change, and today, <laughs> It is listed for 179 and some change, so it's already the price has already dropped. Um, I think maybe to compete with some of the other guitars that are on Amazon right now. There's a Groat and an Ivy. I think the Groat guitar is a semi-hollow. All right, I'm trying to get this plastic off here. There we go. Well. Wow. Okay, so there you go, look at that beautiful red guitar. It's got a semi-transparent finish on it, which is kind of nice. Plastic over the pick guard, plastic over the humbuckers. First thing we do is check the neck. Neck looks straight. Paint job is pretty awesome. Semi transparent stain. Yeah, for, I mean, <laughs> for $190, <laughs> it's like, really? How do they do it? How do they do it? There's a little bit of weird uh, bleeding right here where the uh, uh, binding is. Just some black bleeding into the grain of the wood. But, you know, for a $190 guitar, what do you want? So then this is interesting. The Oh no, those are fine. They just got a weird look to them. I wouldn't say the inlays on the fretboard are the are the best. They look a little rough. It appears they were they were most likely done with a CNC machine because you can see where the bit started. There's like a little round, and they've filled it in with glue. But it's 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 okay. It's a decent the headstock finishes that's nice the logo I don't know if that's an inlaid logo but it's really nice tuning keys look good made in China strap buttons are these cheapos but they're they're useful plastic truss rod cover dual humbuckers you got your uh, I don't know if they consider that the tunomatic tunomatic bridge. I believe it is what it's called, um, like a Gibson. Uh, I like these because it's very easy to raise the string height uh, when you want to change the action. String height on this is it's up there. It's not terrible, but it's up there. So a uh, little bit of paint scuff there. That comes right off though. Maybe that's glue or something. Maybe some adhesive. Not sure what wood that is. Probably. Hmm. Smells good. Yeah. 
and uh, yeah, fretboards rosewood. It's bound. It's pretty pretty decent job on there. Neck's not broken. <laughs> Ooh. And these are, uh, it's like a violin. They're, they're like a, I don't know if they're carved into this contoured shape or if they're pressed into that shape, but they've got a neat contour. F holes, kind of pretty, pretty F holes. So this is like your blues, BB King-ish type guitar. Brian Setzer. So uh, we might as well plug it in and give it a whirl. Neck is tilted, you know, to accommodate all the, you know, the way this comes up in the hardware. If you've played one, you know all this. So, yeah, let's, uh, I got picks in my pocket. <clears throat> I'm surprised they don't loosen the strings on these when they ship them. I always do. I don't know if it makes a difference, but... It's almost in tune. Almost. Nice tuners. Not sure what gauge strings they have on them. Action's pretty darn darn good. All right, we'll plug it in. Okay. Okay. Plastic off the picks or the pickups. All 
right, so there you have it anyway. That's the Firefly FF338. Um, you can pick them up at Guitars Garden. Right now they're out of this particular model. This seems to be the most popular model that everybody's looking for uh, on the Facebook groups. Uh, it's on sale right now on uh, Amazon for $179. Uh, and again, it's a pretty decent guitar for the money. And uh, I'm going to probably maybe do an upgrade on this and maybe throw some more expensive humbuckers in it and do a side-by-side -side test and see if it makes a difference. Um, I'm not sure what else I can say about it other than it's a really great guitar for the money. And I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. So we'll see you next time on the Guitar Dungeon.